Hey, Tellers, thank you for joining me today. Glad you could turn into the Unique Cuddles channel. Um, we're going to be eating some Mexican food today, so I hope you guys brought your appetite and ready to come and eat with me. So, starting out with some steak carne asada, and that is steak and um, rice, and it usually comes with the guacamole salad, but I wanted to do another kind of salad today, which consists of black beans. So I just got the steak corn asada by itself. See, that looks delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also with a chicken shredded soft taco. Mmm, yummy. For you guys. Mmm. And black bean chicken salad mm, that look good yeah bring your appetite so we can eat 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 yes 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 mmm I got some red wine um all I want to say red wine all been red but it's actually red wine all dressing so that's what I'm using on the salad along with nacho chips, along with some, um, <clears throat> this is actually white, well, creamy nacho cheese that I like over everything, as you can see. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that tastes absolutely delicious. Mmm. Yes, it does, colors. Hope y'all hungry. Mmm. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's eat, eat, eat. I had my spoon in this earlier. Eating so much.
salad out. vegetables with <laughs> I mean really restaurants <laughs> mm. First time I had black beans on my salad. I usually have like black black beans on, you know, my chili or something like that. <clears throat> chili beans. But it's good in a salad. Which I didn't know. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Different texture. Chicken is really, really. Look at that. <laughs> it's seasoned well. And everything. It looks really, really good. It tastes good. Can I see that? Mm. Tomatoes are so ripe. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm. Yes, I was hungry today, y'all. I know y'all can tell. <laughs> I know you can. You got to be able to tell. I was. I was hungry. <clears throat> I know what I see. Yeah. You got my keys up. All right, that's so good, huh? I put it all on the plate. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Baby. Mmm. Really good, y'all. Mm -hmm. I really <clears throat> got a subject I want to talk to y'all about, but. I I don't know if we're going to be able to get it across or just get food in the way. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. We'll manage. Okay, I guess I better talk to y'all and let y'all know what my topic is today because otherwise I'm just not going to stop eating. I can't help it. I'm so good. Um, yeah. 
got a topic about, it's just going to be, you know, something that you can just give me your opinion on, if you like. And, um, pretty much it's just about, you know, you know, last week we talked about some of how opposite may attract, you know, but in this case, we're just talking about attraction period, attraction, either way it go. So what I mean by that is it doesn't have to be opposite. It can be, you know, similar, familiar, um, used to situations. Um, so, if you would like to give me your feedback, you're more than welcome, you know, can't make nobody comment. <laughs> um, however, this is a topic that we as grown women have been through and men. Talking about <clears throat> physical attraction. What what does physical attraction mean to you? So studies show, even the research and all and now, you know, studies show that it means a desire for intimacy. It means the feeling. Well, it's actually the feeling of human to human contact. You know. Well, it's the humans now. You're talking about animal attraction. <laughs> animal animal attraction, the way they attract their mates are totally different from the way humans attract theirs. So but it's a feeling of human to human, you know, uh con contact. And what makes um you physically attracted to someone? You know, what makes you physically you know, like attracted. What makes you just think like you look at that person, you go like, oh. Everybody know when somebody cute or da da da. But you know, is it like off the spot, like right off the top? Is it like something that you initially, you know, look for, or is it something that you just go by sight on? But studies say, well, it turns out that the rules of attraction aren't that straightforward. They don't usually tell you all the details, you know, in, um, in attraction. You know, they're not like sometimes something that you can understand, I guess. So, um, according to the professor, a professor named Mr. Hart, he is, he teaches at a, uh, university and... He teaches psychology. And um, he says that there are um, five deteriorments of attraction. Physical attraction means upon sight. Um, proximity attraction. Promox. P R O. <laughs> X I M I T Y proximity. I'm guessing that is um, a distance of, or some type of level in that nature, and then um, similarity attraction. Similarity attraction is, is um, you know something similar. You know you have something in common, common ground, something you know that you can relate to. Um, Recipro um, you know how somebody say reciprocate. Let me know. I'll let you know how I feel. You let me know how you feel. Reciprocate. So reciprocate. Re blah, 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 blah. Reciprocacy. Reciprocity. <laughs> Reciprocacy. <laughs> anyway, it's the it's, it is the language of the uh, back and forth between the two. You know, it is like um. Um, the level of, I understand you, you understand me, we can reciprocate, we can, you know, converse, we can, 
kind of be like a mutual, it can, you know, comes to mutual understanding or whatever. Um, and familiarity, that's the same thing I think is similarity. Have things similar as well as familiar? Do you like things similar, like kind of the same? Or do you like things that are familiar um, in your attractiveness? Something that you can relate to and go, ah, oh, that sounds like something I could do. Or like, ah, oh, that sounds like something, you know, a familiarity, a familiarity about it. Like, we can, you know, talk about it or, you know, something like that. Something that you can converse with. Something that is um, in the normal range for you. Um, is physical attraction important? Study says it is important, but not uh, everything. Uh, you know, and we all know that. That's from back when, you know, back in the day, they always say, you know, our parents and, uh, you know, uh, other people that, you know, raised us or whatever, I always said, you know, you can go by a look, but you can't always go by somebody look. You can buy somebody to treat you. <laughs> How many times we don't heard that story? <laughs> you know, he can be the ablest man in the room, but I tell you what, if he treats you good, you can't, then, then that's all you need to worry about. Because uh, the cutest man will treat you like a dog. Uh, and vice versa, same as women to men ratio, you know? So, they say physical attraction is um, important, but it's not, it's not everything. It don't, it don't like um, make or break a relationship unless you just really that vain, I guess, you know? Because I feel like if somebody got, you know, a good natured, <clears throat> good natured, um, how could you put it? A good natured, you know, sensibility towards you, a good a uh, 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 respect and a fondness and we talked about all that last week you know about the type of gentleman you're looking for and all that respect you if you got kids they respect your kids you know they treat you right treat your kids right they you know and just all of that you know um means more than i think how he would look or how she would look you know i think it should be tolerable <laughs> tolerable enough to somebody treating you like that i mean you know you just don't go well oh they just so they i can't stand to look at them or or they just <laughs> you know somebody treating you with that kind of respect and just being you know uh, all they can be in the in the in a human being for you i think you probably need to rethink that if that was ever the case um, let's see. Also, studies show that, um, physical attraction, um, is important, but not everything. Real attraction is not just about appearances. We just got to be talking about that. But a combination, if you like someone, it's a combination, a little bit of everything combination of various aspects like physical, emotional, and spiritual connection along with the friendship and other qualities. So, just like, you know, somebody said they became friends before they came, you know, um, would say lovers, but everybody don't become lovers. So, they became friends before they became um, intimate or before they became, um, you know, in a relationship or whatever however the world do today <laughs> in the grown folk society you know so um they were friends and they knew each other from you know back when and and they became um they were friends before they actually started having this um type of fondness for each other in that way i'll put it like that so it's good to you know be friends with people that you have a connection with as well as some people like to be on emotional connection level and the physical. We all like the physical, but you know, you have to read between the lines sometimes. You know, like I was just talking about, it's more than physical attributes that they can give you, 
these. Um, okay, these are all the signs of someone um, that likes you. So, the fa see, the factors that, um, that helps you build a secure bond. Okay, the factors that, yeah. So, these are the factors that helps you to be, build a secure bond. In other words, what are the signs? What are the signs of a physical attraction? And, you know, as a grown person, you pretty much know what the signs of physical attraction is. But some people, you know, need to understand it tit by tit so they can really, you know, get their pen and paper out and know what to look for. So some of the signs of physical attraction is that people's pupils, <laughs> that sound the same, peoples, not people, peoples. People's <laughs> pupils <laughs> that is in the eye. <laughs> pupils they dilate when they look at you if they are attracted to you. That's something I never knew. I never knew that when somebody liked somebody or was attracted to you, they pupils dilate. Like where they go, like I mean, uh, <laughs> maybe that was kind of like that uh, old. Back in the day, saying because I don't, <laughs> I don't think people much do that now. You know, they'll go up to you and be like, you know, hey, you single? This and that the other day and something. But hey, study says, the study says that pupils tend to dilate when they look at you. And also, another sign of physical attraction is blushing and flushed. You know, I've heard of that one now. People do get blushed and they flush. You know. When um, somebody liking them or they know somebody got attraction to them. So, yeah, that's obvious. Um, they get, they, you know, the skin get flushed. Like somebody then came over there and just squeezed them or something. Um, the tone of their voice changes. The tone of their voice. or uh, uh, If someone has an attraction to you, they may get a higher pitched voice. They may get a lower pitched voice, you know. Depends on what they think would be more attentive to you and what you would consider, what they think you would consider likable. <laughs> Not knowing, but they go, hi. They go, hey, what's up? You know, depends on the model, the tone of their voice. Okay. Open body language is another sign of um, physical attraction. Someone has open body language, that means they are open for discussion. When they have open body language, they mean they're open for um, talking, you know, conversation, hanging out, just seeing where things lead in a dating, you know, situation. So that would be um, open body language. And leaning closer to you, a lot of them like to lean closer when they're attracted to you, you know, they want to whisper in your ear or <laughs> I don't know uh, just let you know that they are single you know so and then mirroring your behavior now that's the first I, I haven't heard that people when they attack you they mirror your behavior uh, I hadn't heard of that one mirroring your behavior sneaky gestures sneaky gestures why would they want to be sneaky with that they like you? Like, what are they doing? I don't know. Like, what's the, what's the, I don't know, what's the situation on that? Like, why would they be sneaky if they're trying to get your attention? No one that you may consider sneaky is um, a turn off or something. I don't know. The study says all this now, but we have to just look at some of those <laughs> sneaky gestures to enhance their appearance so they're um i guess they oh wait i don't know if sneaky is the right word maybe um maybe considering you know like um you know optional things 
to enhance their appearance. Why would you be sneaky about that? Your, your mate might like that you enhance your appearance and there's nothing to be sneaky about that. That's for you and their benefit, you know, so. Um, increase in body temperature. A person like you, they may get real heated real quick and have to go like this, what's hot here? Fan or whatever they may do, I don't know. Uh -huh. So, but these are all just signs of someone that likes you, so. You know, just check them out because Steady says this. So we, you know, those are some of the things that attract people. And I say they all have to be accurate, but you know, Steady says it, and we can just check them out. Anyway, cuddlers, I enjoyed you. Thank you for tuning in with Unique Cuddles, and um, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoy this meal time and discussion. Let me know what you think in the comments and see you next time on my next video.